Hello friends, this video on decimals path 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Write the decimal number represented by the points A, B, C, D on the given number line. So let's see how do we locate these points or how do we find out what is A, B, C and D. Okay, now when we closely look at the number line, what do we see? Where do we have our 0? We have the 0 here and this is 1. Now in between 0 and 1, how many divisions do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means this 0 to 1, every 1 division, again 1 to 2, 2 to 3, each of these has been divided into 8, 10 equal parts or 10 divisions. Right? So that means this one division, how much would be one division? It would be 1 out of 10, that is 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.1. Again, what would be this? This would be 0 0.2. This would be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 6, 7 and 8. So what is A? A is 0 0.8. Similarly, what would be B? So B lies after 1. So if this is 1, this would be 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So B is 1.3. Now what is C? So C is again after 2. So if this is 2, this is 2.1, this is 2.2. So C would be 2.2. What about D? So D is just 1 before 3. So that means this would be 2.9. So that you know this becomes 10. Uh, this becomes 3. So D would be 2.9. So in this pattern, we could determine the values of A, B, C, D. Question number 5. Between which two numbers in tenths place on the number line does each of the given number lie? Okay. So the first number that we are given is 0 0.92. Now 0 0.92 can be written as 92 by 100, right? 92, first we write the number without the decimal point and in the denominator we put as many zeros as there are digits after the decimal point. So there are two digits after decimal point, so two zeros. So this can be very well written as 90 plus 2 divided by 100. So this can be written as 90 by 100 plus 2 by 100. Now this is 90 by 100. What would be 90 by 100? You have two zeros so you will place the decimal point before two digits. So it would be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.02. Right? So where does it lie? It lies somewhere after 0 0.9. That is for sure. But it lies before 0 point, before 1. So that means it lies between 0 0.9 and 1. Okay, now let's look at the next one which is 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 can be written in the form of fractions as 6 by 100. So this can be written as 10 minus 4 divided by 100. Right? So this can be written as 10 by 100 minus 4 by 100. So this 4 by 100 is a proper fraction so its value will be less than 1. The 10 by 100 would be 0 0.1 minus 4 by 100. So this 4 by 100 is something which is less than 1. So 0 0.1 you subtract something from that 0 0.1. So you get this. So that means it lies before 0 0.1. So it lies between 0 and 0 0.1 because this value is less than 0 0.1. So that means it lies somewhere before 0 0.1 and it is definitely greater than 0. So it lies between 0 and 0 0.1. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.